Now, the state of Ski Mask the Slum God's career, gotta have this conversation, that is a must. Ski Mask recently made a little comeback to the game and dropped a project, and you already know I gotta give my take on the current state of his career. People have been anticipating some new music from him though, and uh, so have I. But yeah, Ski Mask in 2021. Let's talk about it. Now, Ski Mask, The Slump God, it's been a while since I've had an actual conversation about Ski Mask and his music. That's obviously because there just hasn't been much to go off of since he did take somewhat of a hiatus up until the release of his most recent project. The anticipation for some new Ski music, that's kind of been high. Ski Mask is a guy who does have a pretty tight-knit and dedicated fan base. He's not the biggest rapper out there, far from, but he's managed to build an audience who really mess with him for him. I want to say that Ski Mask is a very different sounding rapper, however, I think he actually Actually fits right into this new generation of rappers. He's the kind of rapper who you recognize has a different sauce to him, but he doesn't sound out of place. He doesn't sound like he doesn't belong. Quite the opposite, actually. Keeping that in mind, from a rapper perspective, what makes Ski Mask different is not only how animated he is in his raps, but also how well he utilizes his skills as a rapper when it comes to things like his flow. On top of that, his personality always seems to come out in his music. With that being said, with this most recent release, we're now entering a new chapter of his career. And the question is how much has Ski evolved? What's the next step for him? What is his future looking like? A lot of questions to answer here, so uh, let's get started. Before we look at Ski Mask in 2021, let's take a trip down memory lane and let's go back to Stokely that dropped back in November 2018. Stokely served as Ski's debut album. I'd say that this is definitely the most impactful release of his career thus far. Stokely to Ski was what 17 was to X. Just that really impactful not only drop but moment that made a very visible mark in his career. I think since then, despite the lack of material we've seen from him, Ski has managed to upkeep the level of relevancy he entered the rap game with. I don't think Ski Mask has ever been that crazy poppin' artist taking the entire game by storm, although he has everything he needs in order to become that really poppin' artist, right, in terms of a platform, he's yet to reach that kind of height. Stokely served as the engine that was gonna take him to that place, and I think it would've been the start of it had Ski followed up Stokely with another release that next year that had the same level of impact Stokely had on his career. I think when that project came out, Ski had already a lot of momentum leading up to that point, so the fire was already lit. What I think he should've done at that point was kept that streak going because he was in a really good position back then, which he still is right now as well, obviously. But we all know that nothing beats momentum, especially if you're a fairly new artist in the industry like Ski was back in 2018. He still hadn't made his mark in a game. He was still in that unfamiliar zone to the public because just a little over a year before that, he was a SoundCloud rapper who was pretty much unknown to the majority of the rap industry. What I think has made Ski Mask the kind of rapper who's not going anywhere anytime soon is the fact that he has staying power, plain and simple. He does have something different about him if you compare him to a lot of other rappers. He's obviously very skilled in the rapper department. That's one reason why his flow never seems to lack. He always seems to stay on top of that. However, with that being said, I think there's one thing that could be said about this specific aspect, and I'm talking about this. What exactly is holding Ski Mask back from reaching that next level? I want to give my two cents on that and then transition this conversation into Sin City the mixtape, so let's talk. First of all, Ski Mask does not belong to the streets, and I'm not talking about no thought activities, okay? I'm talking about the fact that he has a sound that's not for everybody. A very weird comparison, but Ski Mask is almost like Scarlord, not in terms of sound, obviously, but more so in terms of the fact that they both have very dedicated audiences that mess with them for them. However, there's a certain level you're gonna be able to reach being Scarlord or Ski in this case. When it comes to Ski and the kind of style he has, I think expansion would really take Ski Mask further than where he's currently at. The being animated part is a really big part of Ski as a rapper and artist. I think this directly feeds into things like his flow and the high level of skill he possesses from a rapper perspective. You can tell from listening to Ski's music that he always seems to go out of his way to flex this aspect of him as an artist because number one, he does a really good job at it and number two, that's what people are simply put expecting from him. And that brings us to Sin City the Mixtape, so let's talk about it. Now, on June 25th, Ski Mask dropped Sin City The Mixtape, a 17 minute long drop with 9 different records. Sin City The Mixtape serves as Ski's first drop since Stokely, which came out in 2018. So Ski Mask has been gone for a while. He's of course been dropping some songs here and there. However, Stokely was the last time we got an actual project from him. I have a couple things to say about Sin City. One of those things being, this is an appetizer, not a full course meal. And that's unfortunate because I kinda went into this project already starving for some 
new ski music if you catch my drift. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is, I was expecting more than 9 songs after all this wait. Ski is dropping another project this year though, according to him, and he said that it's gonna have all of his dream features on it, so I think it's safe to assume that we're talking about a full length album anyway. Like I said, Sin City is an appetizer, it's extremely short, very to the point, definitely sounds like a collection of a bunch of random songs in one package. It is a mixtape though, so I didn't really expect anything that sounded cohesive, that's what albums are for. I don't know about you, but Sin City didn't really satisfy me in the way I thought some new Ski Mask music would. I actually thought it was kind of underwhelming. The songs that were on here didn't have too big of an impact on me. The project was very short, that's another thing, but it is possible to make a project short and sweet, and I think the sweet part was missing here. What I'm trying to say is, it was short, but it wasn't anything too crazy. It had one or two really good songs, but the rest weren't really all that. I'm not sure if this is Ski's way of saying I'm putting all my energy into my actual album because that could be a possibility. However, I was expecting a harder bang pause with that next ski release. Favorite songs on here? The Matrix was crazy, had that classic ski mask sound, crazy and unpredictable flows, overall just hard as hell. I absolutely loved Marilyn Staff as well, definitely one of the best tracks from the project. Lost in Time was very, 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 very unexpected. I like that he stepped outside of his comfort zone on that one. It did sound like an interlude though, kinda sounded a little bit unfinished, and so did the intro as well. As far as the intro, I think the intro had way too much potential to be way still like that. There was a little over 30 seconds of Ski Mask rapping, but those 30 seconds were amazing. And again, I think this could have turned into something crazy, man. I just wish he would have turned that intro into something a little bit more lengthy. Great things would have came from that. Admit It, Admit It, Admit It is another strong record from this project. It's currently the most successful one in terms of streams, so a lot of people are gravitating towards that one. Mental Magneto sounded a little too unfinished for my taste, just like Lost in Time. It kinda sounded like an interlude as well. The song Ya yeah, with an exclamation mark is one I think could have easily turned into the most successful one from the project hadn't it been for those ad libs in the background. Only saying that because the melodic singing Ski was doing on his song, dope as hell. But I think those classic Ski ad libs should have been left out of this one for the simple fact that it didn't really fit the vibe and approach he took with the song. And I want you to listen to this track and mentally kinda erase the ad libs and just imagine what kind of vibe that would have created hadn't they been there. I just think it really took away from the potential the song had is what I'm trying to say. And then we also have Dr. Seuss and Fire Hazard that I wasn't too crazy about. They both had that classic ski sound, the kind of sound we've heard from him in the past. There's a lot of things to be said about the state of Ski Mask's career, but I guess let's get this out of the way. He's without question in a good position. He has a really dedicated fan base. He's known and cherished for a very specific sound and style. Overall, Ski is a dope rapper. He's not for everybody, but he has his place in the industry and he's very much deserving of that place. When it comes to this entire conversation in regards to Ski Mask though, what I think should be in the focus is how much is he evolving? What does he need to do in order to not only maintain what he has, but reach far beyond where he currently is. Obviously, everything comes down to the music, but what does that mean for Ski Mask? I don't think Ski Mask needs to do a 180 in order to elevate in the game, that's number one, but I do think he needs to find some kind of balance or middle ground where he stays true to his musical roots and doesn't leave behind what made him poppin' in the first place, but also on top of that embraces whatever evolution he's going through as an artist. And I'm saying that because I'm sensing, you know, just judging from this mixtape that Ski has kind of stalled a little bit. He's kind of one foot in, one foot out, meaning on one hand he's staying true to his original style, that's good, but on the other hand he's experimenting a little bit, trying to dip his foot in the water, but he doesn't sound like he's fully committed to breaking through that barrier. Ski Mesh right now kind of sounds like he's experimenting and trying different things without a real purpose. He sounds like he's in a state of limbo, and to break out of that, I think he needs to fully commit to, you know, trying to figure out the direction he wants to go in in terms of sound. From what I'm hearing on Sin City, I could for sure tell from the music that's on there that Ski is dedicated to his bread and butter. He's doing a really great job at not abandoning what makes him the artist he is, but I'm sensing that there's some kind of next chapter that he needs to jump on that's waiting for him to jump on it. I don't know what that chapter would sound like for Ski, but I do know that there's something else out there for him. A good comparison to draw here would be the late X. He came in the game as this extremely raw, underground, aggressive sounding rapper and then boom, 17 came out and people couldn't believe that this was the same guy who made a look at me. What happened after that? Well, question mark came out. That was another chapter that created a lot of contrast between the old XXX Tentacion. When you think about the underground version of X and the 17 version of X and the question mark version of X, you think about one artist that went through three different transitions in a short amount of time and that's one thing X did 
did a really good job at. He made sure to embrace the current version of himself so much to the point where people couldn't keep up with all these different transitions he was going through. I think this is something Ski Mask is for sure missing. Obviously, they're two completely different artists and everyone progresses at their own pace, but the lack of contrast in Ski Mask music I think is something that could hinder his growth as an artist. Overall though, like I said earlier, Ski is in a good position, no question, but I do think a piece of the puzzle is missing here. I do think Ski has way more growing to do. He's the kind of rapper who's known for a very specific style and he executes that style extremely well. However, I do think there's some kind of reinvention that's going to have to happen on his end in order for Ski to fully take the entire industry by storm. But yeah, water. Been drinking a lot of water, man. Summertime. You know how it is. Anyway, the state of Ski Master Slump Guy's career. Any thoughts on this entire conversation? I know that a lot of you guys out there have been waiting for some new Ski Mask music and uh, we got it now. What do you personally think about the overall state of Ski's career though? Do you think he's getting better? How do you think he's progressed overall as an artist? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and uh, let's have a discussion about this.